But now I have nothing to show for it. Except for constant thoughts of dying. I'm such a basket case. It's been four months since our separation, Dad, and I'm still such a basket case. I... Remember when you were a teenager? I used to always tell you, guard your heart, young lady, for your thoughts can double team and deceive you. <laughs> I knew you had no clue what I was saying, but to be honest, it probably was more for me than it was for you. I remember the first time you told me that. It was after Mom had died. That was a difficult time in my life. I know it had to be equally difficult for you. And even though I didn't know what to do, I didn't have time to have self-pity. My beautiful little munchkin needed me. I had to pick up the pieces of my life that remained to take care of you. I guess you could say in the process, I was forced to take care of myself as well. Dad, I wish I could have the tenacity as you. You're such a great dad and Mom was such a great mother. But I can't help but feel like I, I'm, I'm such a failure. I can't even control my own thoughts. What am I supposed to do? When are you gonna tell Julian the truth, Monica? He doesn't need to know the truth. Yes, he does. And you need to tell him. He left me, Dad. He left me because I couldn't give him a child. I remember when I was in the Navy, about to graduate from flight school. I was so excited, <laughs> but nervous, because I knew I was about to embark upon a major challenge. It didn't come easy, mind you. Those 12 months of training nearly killed me. <laughs> and I know, beyond doubt, had I not gone through that time in my life, I wouldn't have been able to handle your mother's breast cancer. I certainly wouldn't have been able to raise you. But I did it, Munchkin. I did it. What are you doing? Daddy! Okay, okay. Let me get serious. Upon graduation from flight school, it's tradition for the top aviator in our class to do what is called a flyby. A what? A flyby. It's a flight of celebration. Basically, aviators get into fast jets, buzz around the field for all to see. I can remember our instructors will always motivate us to be the top aviator in our class. The journey is hard, but endure, they would tell us. <laughs> Girl, after that first week, I wanted to quit. But your mother, she taught some sense into me and I stayed. So I pressed through all those negative thoughts and I got it together. Thank God I did. I ended up being the top aviator in our class. You should have seen me, Monica. The pride, the pageantry, as I took off from that runway. 
I didn't even look back to see if anybody was looking. I only imagined all the hardships I left behind. And all that mattered at that moment was I got my wounds. So what does this have to do with me? Munchkin. Open up your heart and see all that you've been through, all that you've endured has gotten you to this final test. If you succeed, you'll graduate and get your wings. You have to tell him. I can't, Daddy. Tell him, Monica. But he left me. Why shouldn't I let that sneaky heifer he cheated on me with go through what I had to go through? Because if you don't, you'll never have peace. You'll never be free. Tell him. This is not fair. When I got that letter from the doctor, I was flooded with so many emotions. How could this be? All this time, Jillian had me thinking that it was I who couldn't conceive. But the test, however, proved it wasn't I with the problem. It was actually Jillian who was the one that was shooting blanks. And then I began to taste the sensations of hate and rage, and I loved it. So what if he didn't know about this? He didn't deserve to know about this because he hurt me. Dad, hate and rage got me through this pain. For the first time in weeks, I felt empowered, like I was in control. So to take that power away from me would be... Liberating. Hard. Even so, Munchkin. But until you deal with that suppressed pain, it will only grow. Make the right choice so you can be free. This is too hard. It's supposed to be. All the hell that I've gone... I all the hell that I've gone through? Fly. Stop that! Fly, baby. All the years that I've given up? Conquer this, and you can have the rest of them. I have faith in you. In the end, I know you will make the right choice. Until then, get yourself together. Focus on those things you've always wanted to do. There is a lot to look forward to. And don't worry, your time of liberation, it'll come. And when it does, baby, don't look back. Don't ever look back. For you will have finally graduated. Love you, Munchkin. I love you too, Daddy.